Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain how to solve the problem C, yet another counting problem, from the educational code for this round 86. In this problem, we are given two integers, A and B, two queries. And in one such query, we need to find the number of integers, X, in range all E, R, E, such that this property is respected. At the first glance, this seems quite hard since it's a math problem and we would have to deal with math formulas. But after the first reading, you will observe that uh, the constraints for A and B are quite small. Namely, A and B are up to 200. So this means we can probably pre-compute something and then solve the queries effectively using some data structure. That's what I'm going to explain. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to exactly do this. Let's define some numbers, a and b. We also know that for some integer x, we can write it as i multiplied by lcm a and b plus z, where i and z are some integers positive or at least equal to zero, not negative. Why did I use LCM? Because LCM between the A and B is the first integer such that both A and B are divisors of this number and their remainders, the remainder of LCM at both A and B is equal to zero. Since the remainder of this number at both A and B is equal to zero, this means the array of reminders is going to repeat once at this number. I'm going to show you for some small example. Like A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3. And now I'm going to find, take all the numbers from 0 to 12. Show you the property. Here I'm going to write the reminder of this number as A, and here I'm going to write the reminder of B. The reminders will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And for B, the reminders will be 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2, 0. As you can see, the positions 6 and 12 have 0 on both ends. And if we look at this array and this array, these values are literally the same. As I mentioned, LCM multiple of both A and B. Now, using this property, we can now create a prefix sum array which will tell us how many integers in the range 0 LCM are respecting the property given in the statement. And then we are going to split the number in query using this formula. Now I'm going to move to the submission to explain what I did. As you can see here, I didn't use the LCM formula, but I use something easier to find up, to find in the context, namely the product of A and B. The product is also a small number and it works fine. Now for each number from 0 to A multiplied by B, I have checked the formula. And if the property respects, I'm going to add 1 to the prefix sum. Now for a query value, I'm going to use a simple inclusion exclusion principle. If we need to count something from L to R, it's easier to count it from 0 to L instead of from L to R, especially when we have big numbers and we can find math formula. So in this function, I'm going to count how many numbers from 0 to R are respecting the given requirement. In this function, as you can see, I 
find the number of complete periods of the array, which is the number xx divided by the product a or b, and the prefix sum value is going to be the position at a multiplied by b minus 1. And uh, also, we need to add the value of the remainder of this number xx the remainder at a multiplied by b. Therefore, we get a solution which runs in oh, a multiplied by b for each test case because we have some precomputation to do plus q because we answer to each query in constant time. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell button in order to be the first one to get notifications about my new videos. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck, and goodbye.